Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and today we're at the Trona Pinnacles near Trona, California. And what I want to do today is fly the CX-22, and I want to show you something it can do. Um, I don't know if you noticed in part one of my videos of this, but this quadcopter is very fast. It is a very fast quadcopter, uh, especially when you put it in altitude hold mode. And that's what I'm going to do today. i got a lot of space around me here. This is a great space to try that out. Open, really open this up and see how fast it can go. Um, one thing though, when you fly an altitude hold, this is using a barometer to maintain its altitude and that barometer is inside the quadcopter. And what it's doing is measuring what's called static pressure. But as you increase speed, um, what happens is that static pressure drops because dynamic pressure is rising and it's going to maintain total pressure. <laughs> and that gives the quadcopter a false indication that it's actually climbing and it tries to reduce its altitude to maintain the pressure inside the quadcopter here. Um, because of that, you got to keep that in mind. If you're going to do high speed flying with this, um, you are, you, you'll either have to increase the throttle to maintain altitude as, that, as the speed increases greatly or uh, just start out at a higher altitude and uh, uh, that will will account for the uh, altitude drop as you increase speed so keep that in mind and again as you slow down it's going to climb back up again to maintain that uh, static pressure inside the uh, quadcopter okay let's go for a flight of the cx-22 and demonstrate how it flies and how fast it flies out here on the surface of mars or actually at the trona pinnacles hope you enjoy this flight this will be cool Okay, we're good to go here. Um, I got uh, eight satellites on the quadcopter and nine satellites on the transmitter. Uh, I'm going to be mainly flying in um, uh, point or not point of view, but actually I'm going to be flying line of sight. I want to keep maintain eye on this quadcopter because of the speed that I'm going to be flying. Uh, I do have a good visual on my FPV system here. Uh, I'm not going to use that black box though, that periscope. Uh, today because you've seen what the FPV view looks al already in part one and part two of my videos But uh, this will mainly be uh, just flying uh, line of sight with the quadcopter and high speed. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, setting all switches to zero Starting the video Video is recording unlocking the quadcopter Sending the quadcopter up and first we'll start off by heading out into the desert. Now all switches are zero. So I'm flying altitude mode. See how that thing drops as it, as it picks up speed? That's because, again, of the uh, static pressure drop inside the quadcopter. But boy, is it fast, isn't it? Look at that thing move. Let me fly over my position here. It is a fast, fast, fast quadcopter. I'm sure it can keep up with a, an air, or a car, an automobile. Okay, I'm bringing it back in again. It's got to be going like 40 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour at least. I'm lowering its altitude some. I'm going to raise up its view also. Great quadcopter, isn't it? The CX-22. Um, it's just amazingly fast. That's my voltage, just keeping an eye on my voltage here. Let's set it out. Holy moly, that thing is fast. What's the range? 160 meters. It is a little 
not a little, it's a big rocket. Okay, coming over to my position and slowing down. Okay, let's give it a little forward push here to get it out of. How much voltage do I got? I still got some. Now, flying this fast <laughs> really sucks the battery power. Keep that in mind, folks. I'm down to 10.9 volts already. So I got to bring it in here for a sh bring it in here shortly. It goes back up to 11.2 when you slow down. Depends how fast you go, but I think that's about enough for today. Okay, let's do a one high speed pass at low altitude. Let's go down here. Turning it around, and then I'm going to bring it in for a landing here because I don't want to push it too much. <laughs> like I said, this really sucks gas or sucks energy from the battery. She even needs that fast. <laughs> okay, I think I proved my point. <laughs> Bringing it in for a landing. Well, I hope everything was recording because this is should have been a cool, really cool flight. Bringing her down. Bringing it in. I got another one I got to fly here today. The Scarlet Minivet. I, I hope that flight comes out well too. But I want to, now the Minivet. I don't know if it's as fast as this one or intended to be as fast as this one. Reducing power. Let me find a spot to land that's relatively flat. Cool. Cool quadcopter, huh? And locking. And turning off the video. Okay, that should have recorded. So that's my flight. Of the CX-22. Let me turn off the quadcopter. I still got a lot of battery power. 11.7 volts. Believe it or not. <laughs> after that. But uh, that was a cool flight. Very fast. I wasn't kidding, was I? <laughs> this thing's a rocket. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that flight of the... Let me turn it around so you can see it. CX-22. Here at uh, Trota Pinnacles. Quadcopter 101. Signing out.